Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Thought today was Tuesday. Yesterday I thought that it was Wednesday. So Mondays are all flipped around. But um yeah, I thought today was Tuesday because I made my grocery list today. Um but my sales papers also came today. I don't know if it had to do with the storm or something like that. You know, the winter storm we got. If that was why, like, the stuff was, you know, delayed or whatever. Because, like, I'm not sure when this, like, you know, the things get stuffed or whatever. Um, but, like, my friend used to work for the newspaper, like, stuffing the newspapers and everything like that. And I thought, like, she used to do it for, like, I think the Sunday paper, but also maybe, like, like I said, like, you know, the ad papers that come on Tuesday for us. Um, so I don't, like I said, I don't remember what day she used to do it on, but, um, I thought she did it for that too. Regardless though, um, I, I'm wondering if that had something to do with it. Like maybe they did it on, you know, they would do it on what day was that that we got the bad storm on Sunday um and so maybe that was why like they didn't get like I said put all together because I was also missing the Valley Produce like ad um so I don't know if that was just like you know every once in a while I might you know one of them might not be in there but um or sometimes like the store might not send it out or whatever but um I was looking at the previews yesterday since I didn't get the sales papers I was looking at the previews for Caputo's and Valley Produce and for Jewel um and so I was going like through the you know the preview ads and I realized like I could have probably actually just made my list anyway off of the online ones two of the ones that I was using the online ad for anyway you know were ones that I could have just made the grocery list for yesterday um but I got all of that pretty much done I think for the most part I have to go over with my mom too and ask her what she thinks we're gonna do for the Super Bowl I, the thing is guys I don't want to go super super crazy because like sometimes it's like oh let's do all of this like let's make all this homemade stuff and like let's get crazy and everything like that and then it's like the holidays where we have leftovers for you know like over a week and we don't finish eating them and I don't want that so I'm gonna try and be like let's try and keep it as simple as possible like you know like maybe one or two dips like not like four dips like we're only you know I don't know if Matthew's girlfriend's gonna be here but five or six people you know and then Matthew won't even be here during the week so it's like just us eating the leftovers you know during the week and again I don't feel like eating dip for you know lunch and dinner every day and so um like that was one year I remember I like I said got a little crazy and went with like two big two or three maybe like big homemade like dips plus I did like wings and like I don't know all kinds of other stuff and it was like way too too much food. I feel like it's never a nice little like you know oh just a little tiny cup of you know like dip or something like that. It's like when the recipe calls like oh you're gonna make this dip it's normally for like feeding a crowd of people and so when you're again only doing it for like six people and you don't want to have a huge ton of stuff like a chili dip or something like that um then you know like I said it's like you know you just want like a little tiny bit so that it's enough that you know again everybody can have some and you might have a little bit of leftovers but it's not like you have to eat just that for like I said lunch and dinner because <laughs> your breakfast lunch and dinner because there's so much of it left over um so like I said that's why I I think we should try and be reasonable with what we're looking at as far as like I was saying, all of the, you know, stuff like that goes. I love to do big spreads and stuff like that. But again, first of all, we're in a pandemic, so we're not inviting really anybody else over. We are only five or possibly six people. You know, there's not going to be a lot of food that is going to get eaten up or anything like that. And again, when I, when we end up doing like sm even small spreads, they're still big. And that's the thing though, too, is that like when you are doing like a, you know, like a Christmas or whatever, even if it is just a small little, like, you know, just with, again, the people that live in our household, basically, um, you know, you, you do want to sample all this stuff. You want to have dip and this thing and that thing, you know, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time too, you can't make that much of it because there's going to be way too much leftover. Um, so yeah, and again too, like we have 
haven't entertained in obviously again there's a pandemic but really haven't like needed to do that but again even when it is just you know like even when my grandma was you know still alive and stuff like that and we would you know have her come over for um you know like we did super bowl and you know all that kind of stuff um and again fourth of july like that's really the food that's more like i feel like party food sort of um and like for us it's like christmas day too we normally do a lot of just like the appetizer things and stuff like that and like again the super bowl is sort of like that too it's like party food um appetizers and you know small little you know not finger sandwiches but you know like sliders or you know something like that where like you can just have a little bit of everything and it's nice because you want to sample it but again it's not conducive to having a small six person party <laughs> you know you kind of got to be like we're just going to do pizza or whatever which i feel like isn't as fun but at the same time too it's like but we can't do something that big because again like i said we cannot fit leftovers in our fridge we're not going to eat all of the leftovers and i feel like it's really wasteful at the same time too so anyways we really need to come up with a plan for super bowl anyway um but as far as the sales goes there is <laughs> very little produce on sale it is a whole bunch of unhealthy snack stuff <laughs> i'll be honest that is like a lot of what's on sale but at the same time too i don't mind buying some of that stuff and again stocking up on chips and things like that that i know if again they're not opened <laughs> we have them stored in the pantry they will stay good for several weeks months even um you know and so we don't have to worry about you know buying any of that kind of stuff so that's why again buy it and stock up doesn't mean we're going to eat it all in the first week that we have it um but it's like i said a lot of stuff that's on sale like that there's also um aldi actually has a really good sale on ground beef um and valley produce has a really good sale on pizzas and aldi also has a good sale on italian um sausage which i just used up accidentally it i thought was italian sausage turned out to be brought worse then i cooked them like italian sausage which i guess nobody complained and i don't even think jack really knew the difference my mom even ate it which is weird because normally she doesn't eat that much <laughs> but um she's not a huge like sausage fan um and so like i don't know it was just i i thought that they were italian sausage it turned out they were brought worst <laughs> so i don't like i said i don't know like i rem i don't even really remember what italian sausage tastes like um like i do but it's been so long since i've eaten meat guys and those are definitely not something i was a fan of like i don't even know if i ever had bratwurst or again maybe i did and i didn't know the difference between that and sausage um so i don't know but i asked my mom i was like is this weird that i prepared it like we did like sausage and peppers but it was bratwurst and i was like is that a weird thing that i did it with bratwurst accidentally because i thought out in the freezer i found it and i was like oh we can do that because i just caught up all those bell peppers look like, this is perfect <laughs> so like i said i thought that they were i thought we didn't have bratwurst we normally don't buy bratwurst i don't really even know why we had them um normally again i have italian sausage in case we're going to do italian you know um sausage and peppers and yeah that ended up happening where it was bratwurst so i don't know nobody complained my dad like i said he is a fan of any type of sausage or bratwurst or whatever um and again my mom even ate it i don't even think jack knew i never told him <laughs> but um anyways they had a really good sale on that too and um jewel had a different sale on something else too maybe or maybe it was caputo's there's another store too valley produce also had um hamburger like the pub burgers on sale too so all in all there's actually a lot of sales on like meat sort of things and stuff like that um so like this is going to be a week where we probably actually stock up on some of that which i can do freezer dinners with um and all of that kind of stuff again we'll probably get two things of italian sausage to put out in the freezer and then just use on a day when again we have a lot of bell peppers <laughs> like you know i caught up yesterday um and uh like i said have frozen pizzas out there for when we want to do frozen pizzas for dinner um which i'm sort of almost thinking i kind of want to do pizza for dinner tomorrow night only because again i want to make room in the freezer so we don't have a ton of um stuff and that's one of the big things that takes up a lot of room out in the freezer and so i kind of want to do that for dinner tomorrow plus two both of my crock pots are dirty because i used one today which they're in the dishwasher but i didn't clean the one from yesterday it, there was enough room to fit it in the dishwasher so it should be clean by tomorrow if i remember to run the dishwasher tonight before i go to bed um but i don't 
and I got the hot water going for the shower and for the dishwasher at the same time then my shower is like gonna be all of five minutes that's warm water um so that's why I have to run it after I get out of the shower um and so yeah but if I remember to get that in then the crock pot will be clean the one that I used yesterday, the one I used today is sitting in the sink cleaned, but it's not loaded up in the dishwasher because I don't have enough room for it. Like I said, without having to risk that, the fact that, again, it might not be clean for tomorrow, I'm thinking we might just do pizzas and that way I have, will have a good amount of space to be able to, like I said, put more stuff out in the freezer, which would be really awesome, right? So I can get some more sales and stuff like that on other things. Because like I said, there's probably four different type of meat stock up things sort of going on sale this week, which is really good. Um, and like I said, I need probably room in the freezer to keep all of this stuff. <laughs> so um, yeah, I also guys, I got up early again today, two days in a row. I'm very proud of myself for that. Uh, I was up around 8.30 or 9 o'clock today. Um, and I got um, the four vlogs I edited yesterday uploaded. I got another four, well I got two done earlier in the day today um, while I was having my coffee and eating my breakfast. And then I went and cleaned the kitchen. Let's to my podcast while I was doing it again guys I honestly at one point I went my parents are gonna think that like I am not cleaning it diligently enough because again listening to the podcast while I'm cleaning I just completely like zone out I don't even really realize that I was cleaning the kitchen for probably an hour and a half but to me it felt like 15 minutes I was like my parents are not gonna think that I spent you know, like the kitchen was cleaned well enough because it only took me about 15 minutes to clean it. And I was like, nope, I've been in here for about an hour and a half. But again, it didn't seem like that because I was so entranced by listening <laughs> to, to a podcast while I was just, you know, cleaning. Um, and so, yeah, that's definitely the way to go from now on, guys. For me, I can get motivated, I think, to probably do almost anything. Like, you know, um, that I don't want to do. And that is very, like I said, just sort of mindless work you know you're not thinking about anything and you know like I said it was just for me it, I, I feel like it's a perfect me mesh right now of doing something I don't want to do but still enjoying doing it because I get to just listen to something while I'm doing it because like while I'm editing obviously I need to be listening to what I'm editing and not be paying attention to do a podcast or whatever um and like I said there's not a lot of opportunity either where I'm doing something where I'm not really needing to pay attention to it where I can again have my focus on listening to a podcast um except for again cleaning or doing like cooking you know like I said prepping all the stuff and everything like that so while I'm making the freezer dinners probably on you know um maybe on Saturday um I should have all the ingredients for everything on Saturday so yeah on Saturday um I can you know probably just again pop my earbuds in and do, <laughs> listen to podcasts and do some freezer cooking at the same time um so like I said for me that is just it, it seems like it's working out and I, like I said enjoy doing it um so yeah I got that done and then I watched the Bulls game I did the other two vlogs I also did dishes and laundry this morning while I was um while I was making my breakfast and then I loaded up the dishwasher with all the stuff that's dirty from dinner tonight and like I said I have it loaded up I just have to remember to hopefully run it when I get out of the shower so all that stuff will be clean and I can just unload it in the morning again I also made my grocery list too so I got like everything done for today I love when I get up early I feel so productive I feel like I get so much stuff done I need to get to bed though tonight so that I can get up early for tomorrow so I just really need to work on my Walmart list probably tomorrow I think again the way I'm going to do it is because I go to Jewel Valley Produce and Caputo's again depending on maybe family dollar um, and stuff like that though on Friday. So I want to have that done as early as possible. I'd like to do that list on either Tuesday or Wednesday like make those lists but I also do Aldi at the same time. So Aldi I go to the one Saturday and on either Wednesday or Thursday again depending on when I did the, did the other list that's when I want to finish Walmart which I go to on Saturday and then on either again Thursday or Friday make the list to go to CVS, Walgreens, and Target on Sunday. Um, so I think that's how I'm going to do it just because I was telling you guys too how it's sometimes like I wait until the last minute like I've done a couple times where it's Saturday night and I'm trying to make this stuff for for um the sun my Sunday grocery list and I'm like staying up real late and that way too I can like be in a consistent rotation of still like even during the week 
um, going to bed early too because that was, <laughs> the thing was that I would get up early on the weekends and then be so exhausted that during the week I would sleep in until it was the weekend again to get up to go to the grocery store <laughs> and be so tired that I'd go to bed and then sleep late because I'm just so exhausted. And so again, this week though, I got into a good schedule yesterday and today i hope i can stick with it and again to get to you know be as productive as i was today i gotta get to bed tonight <laughs> early so i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys